from the team you can trust. This is News 8 at 11. One man is dead following a double stabbing that took place in Rochester last night. Police responded to Bragdon Place around 7.30. They found 24-year-old David Oquendo with a stab wound to his upper torso. Oquendo was later pronounced dead. A second call took place took police to St. Paul near the RTS Transit Center. 28-year-old Neville Brown was found with a stab wound as well. Brown was taken to Strong with non-life-threatening injuries and has since been released. Police have arrested 34-year-old Black Jules for the stabbings. He has been charged with murder and assault. Jules will be arraigned Monday morning in Rochester City Court. Today, those stabbings are just the latest in violent crimes that have taken place near the RTS Transit Center. Businesses and residents in downtown Rochester are speaking out after police responded to the two stabbings downtown minutes apart. Atia Collins reports. The Mini Market Express is downtown on St. Paul Street next to the Regional Transit Service Center. According to the owner, the convenience store has been there longer than the bus station. And the stabbings on Friday are not the first time he's seen violence on the street. I heard yesterday because uh, almost like 7 when I came to work. And I see, like, the police come and say, you need to check the cameras. I the say, double stabbings Friday night left one dead and another injured. They happened moments apart, one right outside the Market Express. Those who frequent the area say it's busy. Yeah, I mean, I come down here a lot. Usually, you know, people, like, hustle, do this or do that. You know what I mean? I, people get cigarettes, do this and that. Well, it always a lot of people on, though, like, Monday through Friday. For the owner of the Market Express, it's a matter of security. Yeah, when it's police here, always a perfect law. It's good, you know? Not hanging around for people. According to Rochester Police Data Pro Portal, there have been over 20 violent incidents in that area since 2011. In the newsroom, Atia Collins, back to you, Christian. Thanks, Atia. Police say the incidents were not random and were targeted attacks. Again, they have a suspect in custody from last night.